Time for the big one then, the Cheltenham Gold Cup. The one that everybody wants to win, and we've got a big, big field for it this year. And it's wide open as well. I don't think there's a real red-hot favourite for this. And we'll take a look at them, and it should be an absolutely thrilling Gold Cup, as it usually is, to be honest. And I think there's 20 of them. Let's take a look at the full list then. Three miles, two and a half furlongs. Better Bob Irish for David Robertson at the top. Bucko for Martin Needham. Charlie Two Shoes for Stu Gray. Crackled Alex Cherry. Q card for David Hooley. Dawn of the Warrior for Joshua Sutherland. Flintoff winning James Shea. Insatiable Forest for Craig Allen. Final attempt for him to win the Gold Cup. Silver Donna City. Leon Van Rinsburg. Steeple View for John Morgan. Just refused to race in its opening race. Time to shine Craig Allen. Belmore Stone for Graham Clutterbuck. Cape of Pears. Darren Thompson. Cozy Breda for David Robertson. Robertson, Dawn of the New Age, Joshua Sutherland, Green Hill Ramblers, John Morgan, big price, 100 to 1, Magic Spell, Craig Beckwith went to favouritism winning last week in Ireland, Ozark Largo, Vinnie Gerard, Stone of Legends, Leon Van Rensburg, and what no son, Craig Beckwith, a fascinating renewal with John Morgan having a couple of lightly race ones in, and away they go in the Cheltenham Gold Cup then, and making their way towards the first of the fences in this then right in front of the stand 22 obstacles between them and immortality as Steepleview leads them into it and over the first they go and they've all got over the first okay Belmore Stone over on the far side for Graham Clutterbuck is also sharing the lead with Steepleview so those two then lead us into the second oh he's gone Belmore Stone has gone and Graham Clutterbuck's horse is out of the gold cup so El Presidente will not be lifting the trophy this year and to be honest that one's fell quite a few times this season so it's not that much of a surprise and one or two of these are caught very wide as they race away then for their first full circuit steeple view then for john morgan is four lengths clear of the joshua sutherland pair dawn of the warrior and dawn of the new age then comes insatiable forest and green hill ramblers ozark largos after that one then comes bucko who's next silver dollar city is after that looking towards the back what no son is the back marker as they take number three which they're all safely over stone of legends is also towards the back but it's steeple view who jumped off okay today and is leading as they go to the water and all safely over the water jump for the first time and steeple view leads the gold cup field by six lengths to dawn of the new age in second and then dawn of the warrior is third bucko one of the outsiders is wide on the track next as they take that ditch and they're all safely over the ditch with steeple view the clear leader bucko probably just showing in second there from dawn of the new age and dawn of the warrior as they take that next one which they're all safely over and towards the back what no sun is the back marker time to shine is also towards the back craig allen and retiring in a couple of weeks desperate to win a gold cup he's got two chances in this and steeple views the leader steeple view leads by five or six at this big ditch and over that one they go and they've all got to the other side of the ditch nicely with steeple view sitting a stiff pace six lengths clear and probably increasing that lead with each fence as they come down to the next one steeple view pops over it nicely the rest of them jumps it well dawn of the warrior dawn of the new age second and third cape of Piers has moved through into fourth then buddy bob irish and q guard bucko's dropped back a little bit then comes magic spell green hill ramblers the first of the greys the second of the greys is cozy breader as they get down to the ninth and over the ninth they go and they're all safely over that the craig allen pair are now at the back and it's steeple view in the lead lead down to four now to Dawn of the Warrior in second. Better Bob Irish has gone to third. Then comes Cape of Pears and Dawn of the New Age. Q card is next. Then Silver Dollar City getting a bit closer as they take number 10. And over 10 they go. And they're all safely over that one with Ozark Largo now being relegated to the back. But they're pretty tightly grouped. And Steepleview's lead is down to four. They're inside the final two miles. And Steepleview leads the Gold Cup field as he has done from the outset. Swings into the home straight then for the second time. They've got a complete circuit still to go and steeple view is in the lead from q card is moved through into second cape of pears is third and silver on the city is four dawn of the warrior dawn of the new age six and seven then better by morrison crackled and cozy britta as they take the next and they're all over that one okay as well with steeple view continuing to lead as they come up past the stand this will be the last next time round over it they go they're all safely over it bucko has now dropped right out the back and his last and it's steeple view in front steeple view then leads the gold cup field as they head out on their final circuit and steeple view's been in the lead all the way so far leads by three lengths cape of pears is second silver dollar city is third dawn of the new age is four cozy bread is making ground then q garden crackled is trying to get into it as well flint off weddings also getting closer to the front 
Porco is still the back marker as they race onto the back part of the track and a steeple view is two lengths clear of the Gold Cup field. Cape of Pears is second as they get over that one. The leader was over it a little bit slowly. The field is now really beginning to bunch. A steeple view's lead is down to half a length. Cape of Pears is in second. Cozy Brader looks to be going well in third. Dawn of the New Age and Dawn of the Warrior still sticking to the inside as they get over the water for the final time. And now it's Cape of Pears who comes through to challenge for the lead. Cape of Pears then has just about taken it up from Steeple View in second. Q Card is third. Wide on the track, Stone of Legends as they get over this ditch. And they're all safely over the ditch as well with Charlie Two Shoes, the new back marker. But it's Cape of Pears. Cape of Pears in for Darren Thompson. Leads over that one from a struggling steeple view. Now just hit a bit of a flat spot. Door of the New Age is third. Q Card is fourth. Then the well, the next challenges are all caught a little bit wide. The Leon Van Rensburg pair are both really wide on the track and crackled. Cuts up in between them. But it's Cape of Pears over this ditch in the lead. Cape of Pears lands in front from in second place. Q Card. Door of the New Age. Steeple view on the inside. Silver Dollar City is next. Then Flint's off better than crackled. Door of the Warrior. What no son? Then Stone of Legends over the 18th. They go. They're all safely over the 18th. And it's Cape of Pears who's now gone too clear. Cape of Pears races downhill, swings left handed towards the next. And it's Cape of Pears then who's got a lead into the 19th. Comes down to it with a lead of about two lengths. It's Cape of Pears from Q Card. Cape of Pears over in the lead. Q Card over to the four at the back. Time to shine's gone. And it's Cape of Pears in the lead from Flint off Wedding. Stone of Legends. Better Bob Irish is coming through now. Green Hill Ramblers is also trying to get there. It's all change up top. They've got four to jump. They've got three to jump, actually. Stone of Legends over to third, last in the lead. Stone of Legends has taken it up from Better Bob Irish in second. Then comes Silver Dollar City. Green Hill Ramblers and Crackle. Door of the Warrior is next. Then Cozy Brain and Ozark Largo. Difficult to see anything else getting into it now, really. They've got three more furlongs to go and two more fences to take in the Cheltenham Gold Cup and it's Stone of Legends who's hit the front and has gone too clear. Stone of Legends from Better Bob Irish in second. Silver Dollar City is third. These three are clear of Green Hill Ramblers and Crackle as they take the second last. Stone of Legends gets over it. Gets away from it well. He's clear by two lengths to Better Bob Irish in second. Silver Dollar City is next. Dawn of the Warriors trying to close over the final fence. They go in the Gold Cup and it's Stone of Legends being chased by stablemate Silver Dollar City. Better by Irish and Dawn of the Warrior. But it's Stone of Legends and Silver Dollar City inside the final half furlong. Stone of Legends is hanging on. But Silver Dollar City is wearing him down and Silver Dollar City is beginning to get up on the outside and Silver Dollar City is going to win the Gold Cup. Silver Dollar City wins it. Stone of Legends is second then Dawn of the Warrior and Crew Guard Insatiable Forest. And Ozark Largo. And all the way back to long time leader Steeple View. And would you believe it, he's done it again. Leon van Rensburger won two in the Gold Cup. He is unstoppable in the big races at Cheltenham. And there might not have been any G.I. Joe this year, but there was a Silver Dollar City instead. And Silver Dollar City takes it at a massive price. Leon van Rensburg takes first and second. Stone of Legend second. Dawn of the Warrior third for Joshua Sutherland. Q card ran a good race to finish in fourth for David Hooley an insatiable forest for Craig Allen was fifth so sadly no gold cup for uh, Craig Allen maybe just maybe that'll make him change his mind and come back next season and have another go